All right, Schlockmeister fans, we're going to watch the 1979 Franklin Jello version of Dracula. Let's check it out. Our movie starts on a boat. And there's something that says Count Dracula. You can guess what that is. And moments later, he awakes. These are two friends, Mina and Lucy. Oh, I know Ben. Yes. Your father says he needs you in the wards right away. Yes, I'm coming. Oh, do you have to come now, Lucy? Meanwhile, that boat crashes into the shore. Mina runs down to check it out. And a wolf makes its presence known. That's Dracula, of course. Mina then finds a man who's obviously Dracula, who's now turned back into a person. Donald Pleasant. Is he safe? in all this camp. Who? Dracula. Oh, yes, he's the only one who is. Young Mina found him on the beach last night. This guy was delivering something to Dracula's uh, place, his new place. I believe this is Renfield, actually. They're not hooked up yet, but they will be soon. Mina then suffers a dizzy spell. I'm sorry, Lucy. She's already under his spell. Good Lord. Was it something that I said? Looks like I'm not going to be good enough for the likes of you anymore. Lucy and her fiancé, Jonathan Harker, argue. Really, Jonathan, you pretend to be so utterly modern. You were just dancing. Just... Here comes Dracula. Kind of a cool, creepy scene. His destination was Mina's room. And ultimately, Mina's neck. Our resident bug eater, Renfield. Lucy's suffering, I'm sorry, Mina's suffering. Mina's suffering the after effects of that fight. She can't breathe. I can't get to the air. There's plenty to take a deep breath. What happened? I don't know, she's so white. Lucy's father, Dr. Seward, that's Donald Pleasance, can do nothing. And she expires right there. Lucy? Oh, Lucy? Mina's father. Uh, Professor Van Helsing is arriving from Paris this evening, and we shall have to meet him. Lawrence Olivier plays Dr. Van Helsing. Abraham! Mina's father. Abraham. In my own house. How could I ever... Now, they live at, like, next to an insane asylum, where it's all part of one building, actually. And, uh, that happened. What's going on here? That was Mina. Apparently Mina is a vampire and broke in and took a bite out of a baby. This woman, you did not know her. Yes, I did. I did so. It was Miss Lucy's friend, Mina. We put in the earth yesterday. I am Count Dracula. Abraham van Helsing. Then it is your daughter, sir, who brings me here. I have come to pay my respects. Find out where lies the vampire just as surely as you, Jack Stewart, could forget. They believe cancer. there is a vampire and that Dracula is that vampire. Blood of my blood. Now he's come to Lucy's room. You shall cross land or sea to do my bidding. Seward and 
and uh, Van Helsing go to Mina's grave and it's empty. But they do Papa. find her. Come with me. We have to go and rest, Papa. Come, Papa. Dr. Seward pulls out a cross. They're trying to give her a transfusion. No, it doesn't. She needs more than your blood to live. What she... He gets confronted. Pulls out some garlic. You're a wise man, Professor. For one who has not lived even a single lifetime. Oof. Mina. I must take out her heart. Heavens and earth, no. It's not your choice. She was my daughter. If we fail here, it is not merely a matter of life and death. It is that we shall become such as she. That Lucy is trying to get to the count to warn him. What are you him. doing? Where are you going? Get out of my way, Jonathan. There. Now you must believe. Lucy. They confront Dracula. He's tough. Jonathan's going to give it a shot, though. I shall set Lucy above them all. Long get Lucy. It is my wedding. No! They shoot some light in there. And well, here comes Lucy. She's now turned into a vampire. Or at least Almost a vampire. Dracula's mad at Renfield for warning at her everybody about him. Later on, he gets a hold of Lucy and takes her away. It is not. You can see it, all right? It's not the one with the big crates on it. Yes. Where is it? It's out there. They follow Dracula's crate, which has his coffin. It's in a boat now. Where is it? They board the ship. Count Dracula is on this ship. They do find them. Dracula wakes up too. Dead yet was uh, Van Helsing. He chucked a hook into Dracula's back, which is part of the cargo hold while they get stuff down there. So he pulls them up and out into the light, where he dies a painful death. And his cape turns into a kite. ambiguous is he alive all right let's talk about dracula 1979 i have a little history not quite but almost um i was a very little kid and my parents wanted to go see the movie dracula this one and uh it was rated r they actually called the movie theater to see if it was okay to bring me to it even though i was little now i know the rules you can take kids to r-rated movies as long as you're there with a guardian but Somehow they convinced my parents that I shouldn't go to it. So my parents didn't go, and I was kind of bummed because I wanted to see Dracula. There's no nudity in this movie, so why not, right? It's just a little bit of blood here and there. But anyway, I saw it, little bits of it over the years. I, I watched the whole thing maybe once um, a couple of years back, and I saw it again today. Um, I have the Blu-ray now. I've had the DVD for many, many years, but uh, the Blu-ray was a recent acquisition. Figured I'd watch it and review it here, so here we go. came out in 1979, like I said. stars uh, uh, Frank Langella as uh, Dracula, and uh, Donald Pleasance is uh, Lucy's father, and uh, Laurence Olivier, Sir Laurence Olivier, plays Van Helsing. It's basically the Dracula story. Uh, Dracula is coming from uh, across the water from some country to go, or Romania, I guess, uh, to go to England. He's going to buy a house there, and uh, uh, he takes a fancy to this woman named Lucy, who's 
uh, engaged to Jonathan Harker. But first he goes after Lucy's friend Mina and bites her and then she dies. Um, Lucy's under the spell. When Van Helsing comes, Van Helsing's uh, daughter was Mina, uh, Dracula's first victim here. So they do some poking around and they come to the conclusion that uh, yes, indeed, Count Dracula is a vampire and they gotta go after him then. So they do. They uh, eventually find Mina and they have to kill her first, uh, which they do. Then they find Dracula and he manages to avoid them. He's a pretty strong guy, even in the daylight. Um, he wasn't exposed to the daylight, but he was out during the daylight, you know, down in his dungeon or wherever the hell he was. Um, he was able to foil them and, and escape uh, without harm. Eventually, he kidnaps Lucy, who's still kind of under his spell because he did bite her once. Um, and uh, they get onto a boat uh, and they're going back to Romania, I guess it was. Well, uh, uh, Van Helsing and Harker manage to uh, get to the dock just after the boat leaves. So they take a little boat uh, and meet the big boat there and get off and go down into the depths of the boat and find uh, uh, Dracula and Lucy uh, uh, sleeping together in a coffin. They pull out a, a stake. Uh, Lucy wakes up and then Dracula wakes up. All hell breaks loose. Dracula takes the stake and actually drives it into the Van Helsing. Then he goes after Harker. But before Van Helsing dies, he takes this hook thing and throws it across the room and it jabs into Dracula's back. Doesn't kill him, but it hooks him and he's kind of stuck there. Harker then takes it and pulls on the hook and he goes flying through straight up and out into the sunlight where he bakes and fries and that's the end of our movie. Now again, very end, his cape kind of turned into what looked like a kite and was flying away and we hear a wolf uh, howl. Uh, but I mean, clearly Dracula was dead. We saw him burnt up, but... Who knows? They left the door open for a little bit there, uh, but um, there never was a sequel. But anyway, that is Dracula 1979. Now, again, no nudity in this movie. There was a few gore scenes in it, and the gore was actually pretty good. Now, also, uh, this film, um, I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Um, the color here, uh, it looks kind of, uh, I guess, drab, but it was done in intentionally. It kind of looks like, it looks old style is kind of what it looks like. It's color film, but it's kind of uh, very darkish, grayish colors it looks really really cool i really love the look of this film if you look on imdb they do have some explanations as to how that came to be the, that filming and uh the various uh, vhs and dvd copies that were out over the years that did or did not have uh that same kind of tone to them but yeah that's the film dracula it's an hour and 49 minutes long and it's a pretty good one um i highly recommend this one i think it's it's one of the better dracula films and again it follows Pretty much follows the Dracula story if you've ever, ever read the novel, which I actually did uh, many years ago. So anyway, check it out. Leave some comments. I'll leave a link to the Blu-ray down below if you want it, and um, you should buy it. It's good. Dracula, watch it. Bye.